Green Turtle Classic, powered by SFMSports.net. Glenn Clark with you, and now joined here post game by Cabrini head coach Steve Colfer after a 7 4 loss to Stevenson here tonight. Coach, you are up 3 1 at the end of the first quarter. How much of what happened from there was about what Stevenson did defensively versus what you guys weren't able to do offensively? Yeah, I, I would give most of the credit to Stevenson's defense. Yeah. I, I thought uh, their defense played great, and I thought their goalie played great. I was just joking with him here in the hallway. Uh, I said, tell me that's the most saves you had all season in the game. He said, he thinks it is. Yeah. I said, all right, well, it makes me feel a little better. Um, but uh, I thought he played great, uh, and I thought defensively they just clamped down on us. You know, we're, we're very young on offense. You know, yeah. we, we play four freshmen a lot of times, um, and um, – I think that showed a little bit, but that's not, you know, Stevenson, to their credit, played great. You know, I thought they played as a unit. They played great. They didn't give us life. Um, you know, we didn't really ever get into a flow offensively. I thought we moved the ball well in the first quarter, and then all of a sudden that stopped. And, and a lot of times that's more about what other teams are doing and, and do we counterpunch and how do we counterpunch, and we didn't do a great job doing that. So uh, hats off to them and to their defensive coaching staff and their players. They just uh, they put the clamps on us, and we have to learn from it and, uh, and move forward and get ready to play tomorrow. What can you do as a coach when you look down and you're out shooting your opponent, you're out <laughs> Ground balling yeah. them. You're dominating them in the faceoff yeah. department. There's nothing that you look at yeah. and say, your, your goalie played well, Tyler yeah. Morrell. Yeah. It, it's it's got to be tough to sort of look at all that stuff and say, well, well what, do, what do we do better? Yeah, I mean, I was joking again with with, uh, with Coach. He was up here and I just said, look at the stat sheet. You know, and I said, I mean, you know, the game is different now because of the pace of play. Yeah. Because of the shot clock, you play with a different mentality. Back in the day, if you had 14 out of 15 faceoff wins, there was just not enough possession time for another team to score goals, right. goals to beat you. Now, with the way the rules are played, the that that stat is not as overbearing as it once was. So you know you got to take you got to finish your shots, and we didn't do that. And the one the good looks that we had, uh, their goalie made saves. You know, and so you just got to keep shooting. Uh, you got to keep trusting in your system and in your process. Um, and. Uh, and, and that's really it. I mean, yeah, I mean, trust me, we, we don't have uh, plays in the back of the playbook that we pull out in those situations. You are what you are in those moments. you got to go back and, and go to the rye on the things that you do each day. Yeah. Uh, and tonight it just wasn't good enough. And, again, my, the credit goes to Stevenson, their coaching staff, and their defensive players, and, 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 uh, and then their offense scored when they had to. Well, you guys don't even get the full benefit of 24 hours before <laughs> you have to get back out on the field. And not only that, but when you get back out on the yeah. field, you're going to be facing uh, a, yeah. a really, yeah. really good team. The number three right. team in the country. Yeah, and they put us. They stress you because they just do some some things, and uh, and they're very good at some things that not a lot of teams that you see play. And so uh, we knew that, and we knew that coming in. I said to our team all week, no matter what happens this weekend, we will be a better team Sunday, regardless of what happens, yeah. because of the challenge that this tournament puts on you physically, mentally, uh, you know, as a coaching staff, as a play, as a player, you know. So those are the. That's why these we come, and that's why these other teams come because of that challenge. Would you love to go home? 2-0? Sure. The best we can go home now is 1-1. Uh, and, and that's got to be our goal. we got to be 1-0 tomorrow. we got to learn from tonight and move forward. And, and, you know, I'm confident in our kids. You know, I think the best part about us being young is that they won't hold on to this very long. Yeah. You know, they, yeah. they, they just want to go. They're going to go home, get get a meal. They're probably already looking forward to pizza and hoagies and go <laughs> home and, you know, get a shower, relax, and uh, and we'll get up tomorrow, have breakfast, and, and start, you know, and, and reengage our conversation about RIT. Well, Steve, uh, I know it was a tough one, but we appreciate you coming up and spending a couple of minutes with us. Best of luck tomorrow. Thanks, I appreciate right? it. Thank you very much. From the Green Turtle Classic, it's Glenn Clark for SFMSports.net.